This is Guardy with Clear Life Combat. I'm excited. I'm in Humble, Texas at the Humble Civic Center, and I have the opportunity to talk to some people that are coming in. I have a guest. I'm going to let him introduce himself, and then we're going to learn what he has going on. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm Justice Torres, uh, Fight 145 for Fury Fighting. What gym do you train out of? Uh, Metro Fight Club. Metro Fight Club. So if somebody hasn't ha heard of Metro Fight Club and they wanted to check it out, what do you guys offer there? Anything and everything. Um, me, personally, I believe it's the best gym around. We got the best equipment, the best coaches, trainers, train like people to train with everything. Uh, it's just the best gym around, honestly. Yeah, I had the chance to talk to a couple of your teammates here recently. Uh, who did I get to talk to? Uh, you got to talk with Oliver Jimenez, uh, Cameron Smotherin, and Michael Aswell. So there's two fights. Two of those gentlemen are fighting today. And, uh, yeah, quick turnaround and came right back, too. Yeah. How do you think those fights are going to go? I think Michael's going to dominate from start to finish. And then from what I hear, this guy Cameron's fighting. He's a uh, he's pretty good, the guy he's fighting is a pretty good striker. Um, I still I'm still predicting it's gonna be a first round KO from Cameron. He's gonna win it. First round KO. Yeah, I got it on that. I put money on that one honestly. You did you really put money on it? No, I'm saying I would. You like, would, I would put money on I'd it. I'd put money on it. He's gonna he's his hands are something else. So yeah, his striking all together. Okay, and then we got Michael Michael, Michael Aswell. Mm -hmm, Michael Aswell, and then we got uh, Francisco Obando. He's gonna be the first fight, so he, I get he's gonna win by like submission. So. For people who haven't fought before, professionally, amateur, smoker, anything, can you describe what it's like to make that walk into the cage? So I'm, on, I'm an honest guy, straight up. I'll be honest. I, have, you know, I know fighters who are like, I don't get scared, I don't get scared. <laughs> Me, I'm shitting bricks. I'm, I'm so <laughs> – I, 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 I get the nerves. Yeah. I, I'm like – I'm in the back. I'm like, why am I doing this, man? I can yeah. just leave right now. But if you're, like, if you're definitely looking to get into it, I mean, it's, go for it. I mean, there's, you're never – I don't see why not. Just go for it. Get, get a good gym, start training, and just get in there and go. At what point is it, why am I doing this, and it changes into, this is why I'm doing this? We'll see. So, me, I go through phases. I'll go to, why am I doing this, to, oh, I'm going to mess this guy up, to, yeah. let's get it. And then, so that's, like, right before we walk out. Then, whenever we make that walk, when I'm shaking my arms, that's when I'm, like, every, every, every fight, I always do this. And it's because I'm, like, shaking everything out. And I have, a, I, have, I have my son that comes to the fights. And mm -hmm. every time I see him, that's whenever, that's whenever I get that, like, this is why I'm doing it. Yeah. Trying to make a future for him. So. Yeah. It's a, I guess it's a little bit different when you bring that aspect in. Do you look for them whenever you come out, or is it after the fight? Um, def I usually know where they're sitting at. So whenever I see him, I see him standing up. And, yeah. you know, that look that he has, I'm like, all right, yeah, this is it right here. What's the goal for you? UFC. UFC and just uh, try to become the best there is. You know, everyone wants to be the best, so yeah. work that way. You're 3-0, right? 3-0. I mean, so obviously the goal is to stay undefeated. Knock out. How many more times you want to fight this this year? Well, right now I'm, I'm dealing with an injury right now. So once I get this healed up and everything's good, um, probably about three more times. I mean, injuries, that's a part of the game. Yeah. This one's um, I've never had. I don't know if it's more of like a nerve problem. Mm -hmm. uh, my arm's been going numb and stuff. So I got an MRI, dealt with all that. So we're going we're gonna to play it by ear and kind of see what happens and then just go from there. I see your hat, Nelk Boys. Yes, sir. You, you like watching them on, on YouTube or the stuff they put out? All of it, everything, yeah. Shirts, buy it all. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, some, they're some funny guys. Yeah. You know, whenever it comes to like, promoting yourself, I mean, you're on that, that regional scene. Fury is a big promotion, and they're only getting bigger. How important is social media, putting out content and sponsors? Yeah, no, it's definitely important. I've never been a big guy, like, on social media, so me um, getting used to that's a little bit different. So uh, get into that aspect. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get the hang of it, making the post, but – you just got to be yourself. Don't pull, put on like a, you know a fake front for everybody and stuff. So yeah, you know I, I like your I like your shirt. Do you have any any management? Uh yeah, I'm with I'm with Iridium. Okay, so with what's the, what's with that Jason been like Hell. for you? I, I love it. Um, so I was originally with Michael's dad with Aswell Management. He was yeah. helping me through my uh, with my amateur career. Awesome dude. He's always helped me with everything. Um, and then he kind of just put the word out there for Jason, and uh, he told me Jason had his eyes. So he's like, let's get the three and zero. Let's show him what you're worth. And, Let's get them to see if he'll sign you. And so he did. And right off the rip, they've just been amazing to me. They've helped me out. And they've, you know, it's, it's good. Yeah. I've talked to quite a few guys that are with Iridium, and it's all been good things. You know, some of them at different points in their career, but it seems like everybody gets that love mm -hmm. and respect. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no, right off the rip, um, I, whenever I talk to Jason on the phone, I could tell he's like a real, like, sincere guy. Like, he didn't give me that, like, I'm going to make you to the UFC right away. And he didn't give me that whole talk. Like, he was just straight up with me, and that's what made me really, like, feel comfortable with it. I didn't have any second guesses. I wasn't like, what am I doing, you know? But, like, I felt real confident with it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Fury Fighting Championship. Um, you know, if somebody hasn't attended one, 
I, we talked about that, I guess, the fighter side, what it feels like. If somebody hasn't attended one at the Humble Civic Center or anywhere, because there's different feels at all these different arenas, mm -hmm. what can they expect whenever they come watch a show? Well, for example, like my girlfriend at the time, when we first started dating, she's never, she didn't know what the UFC was, what MMA was, and I brought her to one of these. And I told yeah. her, I'm like, you're going you're, you're gonna, to, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. So she went, she loved it. It's super electric. Like, it's how they say, like, the, the UFC fights are electric. It's the same way here. You get that excitement. You get to see people get knocked out. And it's just an all-around good experience. I would say it's almost even more electric. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can hear the leather. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's where like you can hear the, you can hear the leather from people getting hit, the yeah. the talking, all that. So it's not it's 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 awesome though. It's awesome. Yeah, it's it's different. You watch it on TV, UFC, or you can watch it at like Buffalo Wild Wings, something like that. But you can't. The sound. Yeah. It's totally different. So uh, just make sure you got fifteen dollars for parking. Fifteen dollars <laughs> for parking <laughs> yeah, if you're coming sure to Humble, Texas. Your, there you go. Yeah. Make sure you got your fifteen dollars for parking. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to share? I'm um, just hey, like I said, just keep an eye on me. I'm I'm making my way up there. I'm a, I'm gonna get get going, and we're gonna we're gonna make some uh make a scene and start doing some stuff. Also, too, watch out for the whole Metro team. I'm on a boy, he's fighting tonight. Tune in on him. Yeah. Okay. If somebody wants to follow you on social media, how do they do that? Uh, go to Instagram. It's gonna be J Torres 145. Awesome. Thank you so much for making time. I appreciate you. Thank you.